right, so we're taking it to our next division, and that is the East Central Africa Division. Map, show us where we're going. Let's go. We're here in Nairobi, Kenya. And I'm so excited to see what they've got in store for us. Can you tell us just a few facts about the East Central Africa Division, please? Yeah, absolutely. So the East Central Africa Division is composed of 11 countries, including Burundi, Congo, and Uganda. There's 2.5 million members worshiping in more than 11,000 churches. So a lot of Adventist presence in this area. So that's really awesome. Um, the one interesting fact is that the church in Rwanda uh, actually has more than half a million members and is well regarded in the community, well respected. And there's a mandatory community service that has to be done in their country that's usually done on Saturdays, but the government has given them permission to do it on Sunday. So I thought that was a cool fact. You have anything mm -hmm. about this uh, division before we jump in? Um, our youth director for this division is that of Pastor Mugwanglo, and um, he has a deep love for youth ministries, and he strongly believes that youth ministries has greatly contributed to his ministry. And so for me, it's just great to know that he is so inspired by youth ministries, and that gives him the fire to inspire his youth. And so to see what they have in store for us is just really great. Absolutely. Now, one really fun fact is that um, we're from our base country of Kenya. We actually have a uh, Kenyan long distance runner, Abba Kuri. He's an Adventist church member, and he actually won a silver medal in the men's marathon at the 2012 Summer Olympics. So that's wow. a pretty cool thing representing. Um, and so we're really excited. Um, to see what God is doing in this division. Want to give a great shout out to everyone watching. Just like Emily has been encouraging us, please post what you're doing to be the sermon. So we want to see what you're doing in this division. So Yes, continue to show us how you are being creative, how you are showing adoption, how you are adopting something so that we as um, the rest of the world, as the rest of your church family can get those ideas. Let's all work together. Let's collaborate. Let's form some connections. Let's all get together and together be the sermon. Let's adopt together. Um, I'm just really, really, really excited to see what East Central Africa Division has in store for us. And because of their fearless leader, I'm sure that whatever they're doing is going to be amazing. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and send it over to the East Central Africa Division. Hello! Karibu! Welcome on East Central, in East Central Africa Division, live today on Global Youth Day. Joining me today is... Uh, Franklin from Kenya. Isaac from Kampala. Sylvie from Congo. And your host today is Diane Inezo from Rwanda. So we are going to tell you what the division has been doing. So let's have a seat and we can share what we have been doing. Yeah. Um, I want to take this moment to thank uh, Euro Asia Division for your presentation and we thank God for what you have been doing and we pray that God will continue to enable you guys to do more. Um, well, the hearts. <laughs> we have done so beautiful, many beautiful hearts. So, yes, uh, sorry for more the countries of the division. Uh -huh. Actually, we have 11 countries from the East Central Africa Division, including Djibouti, Ethiopia, Rwanda, Tanzania, Uganda, Burundi, Congo, 11 countries in total. So we have a lot uh, to share with the yeah, world. Very true, yeah. very true. Um, the hearts, uh, some of them were having some funny shapes. Yes, so which was that's <laughs> true. But the main thing is the thoughts behind it, not the physical drawing of the heart. Yes. <laughs> okay. Mm. Yes. Um, so, well, let's go to Burundi, um, what they have been doing. And um, the most important thing, talking about the heart, mm. do you know uh, the Global Youth Day is about sharing Christ's love, Absolutely. being the salmon. So yeah. I think, as uh, Sylvie was saying, it doesn't matter how crooked or uh, <laughs> the heart yeah. uh, looks, but it's the thought that yes. counts. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, 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 yeah, and some kids have had fun with it, so it's okay. Yes. Um, 
Burundi was very involved in the activities that they have done and uh, we thank God for them and as um, we continue to see what they have been doing it's um, important to know what being the salmon is. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well being the salmon is it mainly talks about us going out there and showing what we have learned like be involved physically. Jesus himself was the salmon and he lived to be the salmon so it does not end today but we should make it a lifestyle. That is what we are supposed to be doing as each day goes by. Let mm -hmm. us be the yes. someone. Let people know the someone through us, through how we are behaving. Mm. Yes. Mm. That's, that's, that's uh, good. Uh, Susan, I, I mean, when you talk about, um, I mean, for, for many years we've done, uh, you know, uh, crusades, mm. uh, congregations where people have to congregate at a, at a, at a marketplace, etc. I think we need to go beyond just calling people in crowds speaking to them about the word of God and yeah. baptizing them. I think it's high time now we got involved in actual, you know, physical involvement with the people because sometimes that speaks louder than even the summons yeah, yeah. Uh, that we have to give. Mm. A five-minute involvement with a human being could be all you need yeah. sometimes. And uh, as you can see the pictures on the screen, uh, sure, sometimes, you know, you go, you meet people who are hungry and you say, you know what, God loves you and then you leave. Again, <laughs> yeah. Like, I think that's someone, Burundi, right? Yes, uh, yes. Uh, yeah, it should be. Ah. And but, it's, it's good what you're saying, not yeah. just to, to preach to people, but also to share with us, yeah, absolutely. as Christ did, to, you yeah. know, let me first feed your hunger, and then, <laughs> and then I'll tell you the love of God. That's true. Yeah. yeah. And, and I mean, when you're dealing with spaces that have uh, huge crowds, sometimes, just even in terms of crowd control, uh, you need some sort of help. So I just want to recognize, of course, the, the involvement of the pathfinders, you know, uh, these are yeah. services in yeah. the church. And you can imagine just trying to uh, get involved in a marketplace or a place that has so many people mm -hmm. without soldiers as effective as they are. Mm. So I just want to recognize them and the good work they've been Pathfinders doing. Pathfinders and, and yeah. ambassadors, yeah. yeah, true, yeah. true. I've really admired what I, I was seeing from other divisions too. From the beginning of the day, mm -hmm. you could see that everyone is trying to go with the, de with the theme of the day, which is adopt. Like mm -hmm. you can see, I think that's uh, all still in Burundi, one of the hospitals, mm -hmm. where people have left their comfort zones. They have gone into hospitals. I mm -hmm. think this is uh, one of the hospitals. Uh, and just a reminder, all this feedback has come in within the last two hours. All, mm -hmm. all this feed, uh, footage, the videos, the, the photos. So we, re we really thank everyone from the 11 countries who have been able to send this feed. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. And you know, I know this, the people, people say much about um, uh, people might forget what you said, mm -hmm. but people now forget how you made them feel. Yeah, true. So I guess true. this goes a long way. You can imagine an old man as one we've just seen on the screen. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how many days he's been um, in hospital, but all of a sudden some strangers come in, the, the Adventist you know, soldiers mm -hmm. walk in, and they do something. And sometimes you don't even have to open the Bible. And I'm not against opening it. But just an act of love yeah. could be yes, all that it takes yes. to actually draw somebody to yes, you. Absolutely. Yes, very true. Yeah. Yeah, and you are nice. You always see these people yes, who are there. That that's true. Down. Because sometimes... Mm. The so, hearts are coming in. Yes, you can see the people uniting that together, one. putting hearts to put hands together, showing a sign of unity mm -hmm. in all these things. Because we want to go as the youths to be able to do these things together. Mm -hmm. you know? So we're going out there together as the youths to be with the people, to tell them about God's love and to share with them. Yeah, true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. I love the fact that they are doing whatever it takes even with the i think that was very creative just using their hands to try yes. to come up with that shape yes that's true yeah that's an mm. apple chip <laughs> it's an but apple still, i like the, the idea yeah. and i like it, it, how we are having fun yeah. and you know yeah. is mm -hmm. yeah what is other sites doing well on social media there's been a lot of activity mm -hmm. i think soon we'll be going sharing with the rest of the world what east kenya uh, kenya has two divisions yeah. east kenya uh, two yeah, two yeah, units <laughs> It's okay, it's big, it's big. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, uh, that is uh, Karatina in, in Nyeri. It's one of the counties here. They went, they adopted a prison. Mm -hmm. And uh, as we can see, they went to share uh, some mm -hmm. toiletries, some food stuff with the, with the inmates. I think it was a women's prison. Mm -hmm. And uh, all this feedback has been coming in within the hour. And uh, going with the theme, adopt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Global Youth Day and uh, mm -hmm. the... the the, the Global Youth Day theme has been adopted. You can adopt a prisoner, you can adopt a, a school, you can adopt an, an orphanage, mm -hmm. a children's center. So we'll be seeing a lot of that as we go through 
through the day. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. Good activities. Mm -hmm. yeah. Isaac. Yeah. We were not able to to share what we have done, but at least yeah. last year and the years before we have done something, right? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, I remember, of course, being involved in this very uh, moment, just uh, yet another broadcast like this, mm -hmm. about two or three years ago in this very space. I mean, some of the common things we've been seeing happening, uh, and uh, I've actually had or uh, got word of one actually happening today has been much of it. It's uh, either marching through the towns of Nairobi, mm -hmm. since there is people about what's really happening today, but also uh, sharing of blood, rather donating of blood, sorry. Mm -hmm. And uh, as many people know, the Chief Justice in Kenya actually is an Adventist uh -huh. mm -hmm. and has been involved in a blood uh, donation today. Mm -hmm. And so that's, be, that's what's been happening in the many years uh, that I've, this uh, activity has been actually mm -hmm. going on. But every single year we see an improvement. We see people going even a notch higher mm -hmm. in ensuring that they, the effectiveness of this day actually is felt yeah. across Nairobi. Yeah, just going yeah. back to the footage we were, we were watching, yeah. that was uh, actually, I'm, I'm being given what that is actually, uh, Central Rift Valley Conference, mm. continue with what they did uh, from the prisons, they interacted okay. with the inmates and then they went to a children's home. Mm. They went to share with them uh, foodstuffs and toiletries mm. and even more importantly, they didn't just share and leave, mm. but they stayed and they fellowshiped with them. That's very Sang powerful. together, mm. worshiped together, mm. which goes to the theme be the sum of, that's the overarching theme of Absolutely. Global Youth mm. since we began, that we should live Christ's life and not mm. just today mm. it should be a life every day you know every yes day. yes yeah. and yeah. that's that's one of the things who, who was saying from it's not really like uh, the theme is just today and then next year we'll mm. have to do and it's just a continuous thing we make it a lifestyle mm. if we have been if we adopted you today does not mean tomorrow you're going yeah. to be an orphan <laughs> so it's a, it's like we'll continue to visit you we we'll continue to do bible study with you we we'll continue to donate blood mm. to this particular uh, yeah. hospital so mm. it's it's been a, a powerful powerful day and as you can see they actually sat down with them fellowship with them. Uh, this is from Nakuru, Central Rift Valley Conference. They played together and this is actually a theme that we have been seeing all through the, the divisions that have showcased so far. Mm. If we can do more in terms of reaching out to the community, mm. we would actually we wouldn't need to struggle so much to preach the word of God to them. That's you know? true. Amen, brother. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's very true. Mm -hmm. And um, the fact of that uh, allowing uh, young people to go out be involved go and preach go and you know and it's not really about now because i can sing because i can preach mm. and i'm going down there and do it but now it's like in action and then mm. you start finding people different countries different cultures because we yeah. all have different cultures here That's as amazing. much as it's in one division and it's it's good to know what kenya has been doing and you know appreciate with the young people what they are doing so it's yes now we will proceed to shauri moyo adventist church it's one of the oldest churches actually in nairobi where we are right now they mm -hmm. went this morning the whole youth uh, departments from the adventurers pathfinders and I, I love the fact that global youth has become actually the entire youth mm -hmm. from junior to senior youth coming together in our division and so they went uh, to one of the children's homes mm -hmm. took foodstuffs uh, we, 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 we can't hear everything they were saying, yeah. but they continue with, with, with the theme. Mm. Shared love, Christ's method, mingling with people, sharing food, then finally preaching to them and reminding them that Christ is God. It's Jesus so is nice. love. <laughs> you can it see. It is so nice yeah, to yeah. find So each one of them was given a, a token to share. Uh, wh whatever small, it's the thought that counts. Yes, yeah. I wanted to say something is that uh, I love the way as the youths we are in, we are getting involved into mm. this because some time back we, we thought about well preaching is for the elders and the pastors and women mm. ministry and we the youths will just come to church, sit down and that is it, you know. Mm -hmm. But then I love this thing where we are getting involved in this and we are moving with this forward uh -huh, because uh -huh. preaching the word is not only for the old or for the people who have retired and we think they don't have yeah. anything else to do. But we also can go out there and preach the gospel and bring Christ, people to Christ. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yes. More pictures coming in. Uh, Great. Frank, Great. you want to share some light? Yeah, I want to pick up from what Sylvia was saying. Actually, 
what we have realized is that the young people are dying to get out of church and do and, and do something. Yeah. It's not just about sitting there. Yeah, they are fired up. And uh, sometimes I wish, uh, because when you look at, at even the social media interaction mm -hmm. and uh, the hashtag GYD, mm -hmm. GYD has become the largest, mm -hmm. the largest Adventist presence online mm -hmm. throughout the year. So um, these are continuation. I think that we are in, we are, that was uh, those supporters from uh, coming in from Tanzania. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we can see the same thing. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's like this year, the, 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 the pathfinders and, uh, and adventurers have, have, have really taken the cue from the, from the senior youth. They yeah. are the ones who are taking yeah, prominence. To do that. And, and thank you for Ken really. <laughs> to preach and to be the someone mm -hmm. and it's not only Kenya Tanzania Uganda but it's throughout the division mm -hmm. you know some other pictures will not be able to show you but mm -hmm. throughout the division like people are actually getting involved the youths are going there and they're actually doing something Absolutely. as you can see that is blood donation going on mm -hmm. which is something really really good and it's something that is really needed. There are people who need, who need some more blood, who need something. So it's something very, very important. Mm -hmm. As you can see, uh, the picture that was just showing, I mean, the video, there were some people who are donating blood. We are doing different, different kind of things to be able to preach to the people. Mm -hmm. There's blood donation, as you can see. And earlier on, we had seen mm -hmm. giving of toiletries and giving of food and so on. So, Sylvia, that's North and Tanzania, that, right? Or? Yes, oh, yes, okay. yes. And one of the things we just saw there is what we have been saying, mm -hmm. the, uh, the involvement of older people mm -hmm. to come, okay, you young, we are here. Show mm -hmm. us what we can do. We can yes. also mm -hmm. be involved in you, what you're doing. And it's good to see the elders also getting involved, which is very powerful because yes. we can't do it ourselves. Yes. So it's, it's, it's good for Tanzania to involve, yes. you know, to yeah. involve there. Yeah. We That's appreciate true. a lot. It's good for the, the support that we are getting from the church, mm. the support that we are getting from the elders, mm. from the church members. You know, they're not just saying, the youth, you go, this is your thing, you know, go and do this. But they're saying, we'll be with you. As you can see, these are other pictures that are coming up. Ah. Yes. yes. Wow, some involvement even in the, within the Muslim yeah. communities. Surprise, you know, that's, that's, surprise. A, that's, a, that's a huge, <laughs> that's a huge element of uh, evangelism when it comes to uh, the coastal side of Tanzania, mm. Uh, mm. particularly within Dar es Salaam, mm. Bagamoyo, etc. Um, uh, this is quite major for them, and you can imagine how uh, intricate this kind of um, element of evangelism is. I mean, mm. uh, trying to take the word within any, uh, a, a Muslim section yeah. isn't as easy as any of us, oh, any of us might think. You know, it's not like walking into a mall and finding a random person thinking about Christ. There's a lot of resistance you face. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. You've got to prove yourself a lot. <laughs> but here, the guys are doing it. Yeah. But there's something I just want to point out. Even as we see many youth being involved in uh, uh, this kind of movement, uh, one of the things we also need to recognize is the fact that as much as we go out there and tell people about Christ, in this whole element of us being the someone, mm. uh, the challenge that is presented to the youth is it's one thing to go tell people about that person, Christ, but how about you? Are you that kind of person? I think that's where the challenge really starts, and I think that's mm. a good challenge Being, because yeah. you can't yeah. represent somebody you don't look like. Yeah. Mm. Hence, the reason why we're being told to be the someone. More heart coming through. Beautiful. Yes. Oh, yes. So, that's, 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 so that's, that's more yes. of a heart now. You see? <laughs> yes, but then again, even the crooked one, that <laughs> yes, is still, yes. the thought is still we behind. We appreciate it. everyone. Yes. Yes. Well, Sylvia, you understand that's from Tanzania too? No, 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 no. As I said, there are different. All the other countries, the other, the other countries that are part of East. Central mm. African division are also making their run. <laughs> so it's not only from Tanzania or yeah. from Kenya or from Uganda, but throughout mm. they are able to make that. You know, uh -huh. we are sharing the love. It's it's a symbol. I, yes. I think I think that group got it lucky because they they, they had a background of the sand. Eh? Mm. It looked really good. Yes. Tanzania, I keep sharing like yes, you see, the blood this sharing of uh, that. That's still I can see some some cotton and some yeah that is still part of the blood donation wow. yes that is going on which is something really really good because mm -hmm. some people lack where to get the blood from and these are the youths and the other people who have gone out to donate this to help somebody mm -hmm. who is in need yes i was it's it's very and you see some of the things we forget is making people laugh you know mm -hmm. like uh, looking at those little pathfinders yeah. joining us and put that smile of someone who has been hungry and yeah. is able to find food and 
someone your hospital at the hospital you have someone it doesn't have blood and yeah. mm -hmm. here you got some random people <coughs> want to donate yes. you know uh -huh. it's 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 they want to know who are you who people are you? <laughs> so that's what you were saying mm -hmm. now yeah. it's how we show we show by action Absolutely. so yeah. it's it's we applaud the uh, Tanzania for yeah. all the activities you've yes. been doing and being the someone in in the hall it's it's, it's very it's an amazing thing you amazing. know my favorite part about blood donation mm. it's the end they give you a soda at the end <laughs> <laughs> and if now we know who's been donating donate blood for all the <laughs> <laughs> but that should not be the, the purpose why you're giving the blood it's okay at least <laughs> At least he has some motivation. Some Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you need that motivation. I won't lie, probably at a, at a lesser age, that could have been it. Yeah. Uh, there's a time I went to town literally for just my own errand, yeah. and I found some guys donating blood. There was still biscuit and juice, but uh. I didn't care much <laughs> until I had no giving headphones. <laughs> oh, no giving yeah. headphones. I stayed, I think, for about two hours on that line. <laughs> <laughs> so I walked away with the headphones and uh, two liters less. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I just remembered something. Mm. There's one part of Tanzania where mm. they had to teach some people about the donating blood because some mm. of them, there's a saying that af when you're beyond 18, mm. you will die if you donate blood. Oh, so wow. they literally had to first educate them and then they donated. But it's like, you see, I can't donate blood. I did not die. Mm. So yeah, it's also too mm. good to, do, to give people yeah. the... Mm. Yeah, so Gabon to tell us yeah. what Uganda is up to. I mean, Uganda's been up to a lot. I mean, the, 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 the interesting thing that the, the, the thread cuts across, mm. it's, all, it's all about sharing love, as you can see. It looks like food, right? I see lots of food. And, and I mean, this is uh, this, uh, this, Uganda this, this is Uganda food. And food. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Frank uh, well, phenomenon where <laughs> for him, food comes first. Well, the viewers, if you didn't know, Ugandans are known for eating. Yeah. yeah and there's a lot of food there. No, so. that, that I'll own. That I'll own. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that, and I'm sure it's coming, but I'm surprised that there's no some juice or porridge on this side. <laughs> or oh, here, yeah. in studio. Absolutely. It's supposed Absolutely. to bring for you. Huh? Absolutely, it's supposed to. But look, I mean, food, food go, let me tell you guys, food, leave alone the fact that Ugandans love food, which is a fact, mm. but the truth that food goes a long way. Mm. Sometimes mm. it's all you need to draw people actually to you. And yeah. once you've fed them, let me tell you, a man who's satisfied will listen to anything you got to say. You speak to me about Jesus when I'm hungry, I'm going to speak to yourself, you know. Yeah, so that was true. such a, um, an effective technique from Ugandans. And uh, of course, they've been doing more than just actually the food. Uh, the youth uh, in Uganda have been involved even within the streets within Kampala. Uh, yeah. We've also seen um, actually uh, beyond just the youth. The heart from Uganda. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Actually, you know what? This is the best heart so far. <laughs> I knew you know, you'd say this that. Is the Best heart of actually that now that is the heart for sure. You know? <laughs> but um, uh, I mean, as I, again, as, as I've been saying, you have you have mentioned, um, I mean, you have talked about uh, how the older people have been involved in this uh, whole movement, mm. and that's something also that we've seen in Uganda. So uh, we are hoping that um, you know we can be fed with more uh, you know f uh, footage from studio of what's really happening on ground. But I know for a fact that this day has actually also been recognized within the streets of Kampala and Uganda at large. <coughs> Someone's proud of his country. <laughs> that one's for sure. Absolutely. <laughs> ah, interesting. Absolutely. Well, well. Actually, something else that I wanted to say is that we are not only talking about the older, the older people joining us. We are also training up the younger ones mm. so that they don't have to sit and wait when I become a youth. Speaking of the young ones. Yes, you see, as when I become a youth, then I will be part of this. As you can see, there's a young, there's a young child there with be the someone also being involved in this so that mm. they grow knowing this, so that we don't, we don't, we don't. We will not just wait until they grow old, but then we continue mm. doing this. It becomes part of our lifestyle, as we were saying earlier. Absolutely. So That's I want to us to find, to take some moments, mm. and uh, hopefully well, our viewers also, we have older people and younger people. So each one of you, let, let's talk about this idea of how, how does GYD mean and the experience that we have been sharing, and they actually issues that we have been having mm. and what the older people want as they, as much as some of them are really helping us mm -hmm. but I don't think all of us have embraced this the idea of like uh, okay go out and preach I'm empowering you what you need tell me and also some on the side that's on the side of older people but also on the younger people some of them the 
they are still in games. What is does this one have power? There is, is, there, is there an importance of Absolutely. these activities yeah. that we are doing? So mm. each and one of tell me what you view and the issues that you find, and you know, yeah. tell me what is happening that we could actually at the end of this <laughs> someone actually will catch something yeah absolutely uh, diane you're right uh, at, at the beginning i think when global youth day was first taking off as a mm -hmm. as a global um, uh, day there was some resistance on the part of uh, many especially in the in, in the you know in the established church they were mm -hmm. like oh how can they go out on a sabbath wearing t-shirts you know how how rigid some of our grandparents and parents are mm -hmm. and so I can tell you that it, it used to be uh, uh, an, an issue, but right now, even the, our own pastors are the ones who are actually asking us, hey, you know, members, our young people are going out mm. next week or next month. Mm. We need to empower them, share with them uh, the support that we have. Mm -hmm. And so I believe, yes, there had been challenges, but right now, going forward, this is the most practical way through which we can reach uh, non uh, Adventists, non-Christians, even f people who are not within our s sphere of influence at that time, this is the, the best way to do it. Yeah, uh, I mean, the Adventist Church has done a lot in terms of uh, acquiring new members over the past years. We've been mm. known for some of the most successful crusades yeah. in Nairobi, particularly within um, the Uhuru Park Gardens. So that has been effective for its times. But even Ellen White talks about it that when the times change without compromising your faith and the, and the principles of Christianity, sometimes you just need to change with the times. If you look at the global youth there right now, it's a, you'd say this is not the kind of mode of evangelism we saw in the 90s. Mm -hmm. This is something we've just had to acquire, and it's mainly because of the days and the times we're in right mm -hmm. now. It's a very, uh, you know, this is a social media, uh, internet generation. Sometimes just speaking at them doesn't work. Sometimes mm. you just need to speak to them. Mm. And I think that's exactly what we're seeing here happening. You're seeing a huge part mm. of this uh, movement also being experienced off the social media pages. Mm. Uh, even some of the footage you've just gotten here, just before the broadcast, you could see many of these spaces still sending in stuff through WhatsApp, mm. sending in stuff through Twitter, Facebook. Again, these are new uh, you know, tools that are available mm. that we didn't have many years ago. So I think for me what I'm seeing is simply the church saying, you know what, the times have changed, so should our mm -hmm. skill or, you know, uh, mode mm. of, you know, disseminating this uh, word, mm -hmm. uh, it should mm -hmm. also change. And I think this is very key for the church. And, and for many other areas that maybe we're still uh, yet to pick up, I think it's just an encouragement also to those in the, you know, the places of our management and, uh, you know, ensuring that we, uh, the church mm -hmm. organization is being run, to take up more other, you know, technological and, uh, you know, social media tools to ensure that we push the word. But I think for me, what's key really right now is that I'm seeing a change in terms of choice of tool that was okay. used in, 99, in the 90s mm -hmm. and what's being used right now. Very true. Absolutely, yeah. And something that uh, I think I don't want us to, what should I say, I don't want us to forget about is that even with the method that we're using, the purpose and the, the purpose is still the same to preach the word of God. Mm. We should not get carried away and forget about the main purpose that we are doing. You know? Winning souls. Yes. So we need to get people to know about Christ. Mm -hmm. We need to bring them to Christ. And in that way we are using other methods to bring them, as you were saying. Not only to have a crusade or to go to a school or, you know, such kind of things. But also to find other ways to involve other people as well. Mm -hmm. And I think that is something that we should remember. That's what the main, the main purpose of this whole thing is, you know. And it will, be, it will be of great joy when Christ will come and will have brought many souls to him. Yes. It will be really good. Virch, um, Kapant, you mentioned something that I was going to go uh, on that one. So one of the things that is coming up is uh, the digital evangelism. Yeah. And um, in East Central Africa, we mainly use Facebook, but also we have Twitter, Instagram, and other tools that we use. And... In the past few years, it was a bit of a challenge because people were just having other issues. But let's talk about this. Uh -huh. Do we still have people who think, because all these things that we are having is thanks to some technology that people was, you know what, I can use my hashtag and make known of what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I can share on 
Facebook on all, you know, like, uh, and by the way, thank you, Emily, for sharing what you have been doing on East Central Africa Division, because it's good to know the whole world is seeing what we are doing and encouraging the young people to keep doing. Mm -hmm. So do we still think older people are still having issues of us preaching on, on focus? You can use it. Mm -hmm. We know now that it's relevant. I, I don't think, actually, my, my own parents are online, they're on Facebook and they're on Twitter. So I think the times have changed, as Gabantu was saying. Right now, it's only someone who maybe is resisting technology. Who, and who, because in our day-to-day -day lives, we, we use it. Mm -hmm. Governments are online, so we have to be there. Absolutely, but yeah. you see, Frank, also, I guess I understand, I can understand where the older people are coming the from. The resistance. Yeah, I, I, and I think it's not really a resistance. Mm. It's more of a concern. I think she mentioned it mm. partly because it's good not to forget who we are. Mm. The thing about these tools also, that let's just be honest, these mm. are secular tools. So if you look at 80%, they are, they are. I mean, anything, they, they are secular tools. <laughs> it's okay, it's Why a discussion. Do? Yeah. We'll talk I mean, about that. Think about, about it. it. Yes. Widely. I mean, go, don't even come to mind. Go oh, okay. to your own social media. Mm. Mm. Get into your account using ECD account. Mm. Go to Instagram, for instance, yes. and just look at the, you know, the second tab, mm -hmm. and just look at much of the content that comes from there. Mm -hmm. So the, ch the thing is, how do you create a balance? Mm -hmm. And everything within this world, be it even technology, just see, you need to understand that it really means secular. It doesn't mean that it's or bad, but it's just because it's of the world. You get it? Mm. And not everything that is secular is not effective for evangelism. But I'm simply saying, <laughs> what, what I'm simply saying here is that mm. the tools, and that's where they're coming from, mm. the tools can easily be misused. Definitely. However, however, they are effective. So when you yeah. see that resistance, it's coming from a place of concern and more not from a place of them not wanting you to be affected in your but industry. But where are young people right now? Exactly. Well, no, that was one of... I, I was waiting for him there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, you see, we, 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 don't, we don't have a contention where yes. the young people are. I think I'm simply saying yeah, online. this tool, yeah. this tool, if misused, can easily uh, be catastrophic. Is, is the, is the, is the, that, it's a question and that it's a problem that we all have because a young kid, if you're a parent, you're allowing your two years old to be on WhatsApp or on Instagram mm -hmm. putting some things that are not relevant to the world. Mm -hmm. So, of course, you're going to be, as a teenager, you still be, it, it will all still be about you. But I feel like, what if we educate? Because we have the young people that we want to mm -hmm. reach. But now, if you go to that uh, social media and there's nothing about Jesus there, mm -hmm. there's nothing about the love of God, many of them are killing themselves. So how are we going to balance it when we are not there to actually give the right information? Well, I, I, I mean, I would put your last <laughs> yes. well, to... Well, GYD 19. I That's wanted to say something is that, <laughs> well, it starts with you as a person. Let's say on my Facebook account, what am I putting? Okay. That is something that we should all think about, you know. Yes. On my Facebook account, what am I putting? On my WhatsApp status, what am I mm -hmm. putting? Because I want to be the someone. Mm -hmm. That's yes. what you should remember. I want to be the someone. Mm -hmm. But I cannot be the someone only today when I go to the community. Mm -hmm. And when I come back in the evening, <laughs> I post my own things on Facebook mm -hmm. or Twitter or whatever, Selfies. you know, I do my other things, but today I'm like, yes, Global Youth Day, yeah. be the someone, you see, that's another thing. So it always starts with you as a person. Yes, uh -huh. So it's yeah. like, what am I doing? What am I posting on my Facebook account? Mm -hmm. It could be a blessing mm -hmm. to somebody else, uh -huh. but are we using that, you know? Are we being the someone everywhere or is it only in Let's the community GYD. when uh, when walking around <laughs> mm -hmm. but then on the other side we're doing our own thing you know yeah, yeah, that is something that i wanted uh, to say mm -hmm. no it's, it's uh, thank you very much because it's been uh, it's been it's been something so powerful that we have which is that phone that we keep using mm -hmm. but now it's how we use it and thank you young guys for using it for christ for mm -hmm. sharing the activities mm -hmm. that you're doing mm -hmm. for encouraging people for mm -hmm. all the things that you've been doing it's really it has been a powerful thing, and we really thank God for that. Absolutely. And we can continue and see what we are doing in... Uh, in yes, we have more content from other yes, countries, yes. right? Uh, yes. Okay.
Okay, and, and, and I mean, I, if we have content from other countries, it would be good just to have that on the screen so at least we can start commenting on it. Yes. But um, again, this is me just, uh, you know, agreeing with all of you. Mm -hmm. Effective truly uh, has been the tool uh, called this, called social media. Mm -hmm. And I think even just within the GYD, um, over the many three years, or is it two years or four that's been around, mm -hmm. you'd realize how much. You, you saw the country that was in before, was that Russia? Yes, the guys that are on before Euro Asia division. Euro Asia, Euro Asia. Euro Asia. I mean, you yeah. saw what they had, you know, to share with the world, mm. and half, half of what the lady was was actually talking about was just screenshots from either Twitter, mm -hmm. screenshots from Instagram, <laughs> ABC. So it is effective. Yeah. I mean, no doubt it is effective. And there's a way, and there are many other ways that actually the church can use it for. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Let's welcome West Kenya. Oh yes, we're back. To, as I told you, we have two unions in Kenya. Mm. So the, we saw East Kenya, uh, and then right now we, we are we're going to talk about West Kenya mm -hmm. Union yes. with the headquarters in Kisumu, <coughs> where I actually happen to come from, well, natively. Moving on safely. <laughs> okay, we are going to discuss about it after we have uh, had the video. Let's look at what they have been doing. Uh, let's listen and uh, look at what they have been doing. You know, an another thing that's... Uh, Oh. Just thought, what is sound? Huh? Wow, as you can see, these are other young people who are going there and they're taking, they're taking this to be the someone. Mm -hmm. They're going to other people to tell them something about Christ. Uh -huh. As you can see, that's, they have some food for mm -hmm. them. They have other things, you know, it's, and then they are not only giving them, but also talking to them, you see. Yeah, and, as and, you can see, they are sharing the food with them. And I yes. think, uh, Sylvie, as you said, uh, that's uh, West Kenya. Yes. They're continuing with, uh, with the Global Youth Day activities, even as we speak. Yeah. People are still doing, yeah. Yeah, work. yeah, till uh, 6 o'clock. It's, it's, it's still it's <laughs> three more hours young. to go. Yeah, because yeah. you have yeah. much energy, it is, yeah. It is good to be young. <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, even just uh, to their own media division, you know, this is a very good friend of ours, Carol. I'm very proud to see her on the screen. I mean, yes. they're, 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 you know, their own uh, media center has, uh, has actually done very, very well with the, with the footage. I mean, if you can see the content capture, it's uh -huh. done quite well. Mm -hmm. I think that's something commendable. So well done to them. Mm -hmm. West Kenya, those are the Joel Marande, mm -hmm. the guys who oh, are you know working. Some of them. Yeah, ah, interesting. Some <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Kids. Where more. have you gotten this? Street <laughs> you kids? know what? We've One other thing we have to credit uh, the division. And we are here to feed them so that we can minister to them, so that we give them love, so that they can know that even the church still loves them. In the fact that yes, they are in the street, they belong to different families. So we are ministering to them by feeding them so that they get something to eat today. We'll give donation of clothes to those who do not have. So that is the someone we are giving them today. Yeah. This is such an amazing day to spend time with street people. Some of them who happen to be Seventh-day Adventists and are telling us of how they, they don't go to church anymore and they are longing, they are longing to have Jesus in their lives again. And this is what we are doing here as the youth from Kisumu today to minister unto the street children and give them hope that they may see tomorrow. Thank you so much. Back to you, Deanne. Awesome. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you very much. That was really good. That's, that's, uh, we like what you've been doing. I thought you put some chorus there. I so could hear the singing, right? <laughs> Come the yes, 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 yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, well done, well done. West Deanne. Kenya Union, that is. Absolutely. Good footage coming in. I mean, mm -hmm. if you can see, again, food is involved here. So this is me just trying to make an emphasis here. I mean, and I'm, and I'm actually taking, making this as a very serious emphasis. You want to reach out to people's hearts sometimes, Start give them the a stomach, meal, okay? you can tell them anything you want about the best. Mm. Yeah, but without that, it, you know, it, uh, it would be a bit tough to actually say anything, but good stuff there. Yeah. Well, well done. then, not, uh, well, the food part is good, but not only the food part, you can get to them through their other needs, you know, which might not necessarily be the food. But that, that's, that's, that's important maybe, too. Maybe I'm hungry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe no, I'm that's, hungry. Uh, 
Yeah, <laughs> that, that's his speciality. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed. I was right. talking about the universality of the t-shirt designs. I really loved them. I, I, I don't know about you guys. Adopt, of like it was in almost every footage we were seeing across the division. Mm. The t-shirts, the colors, they look interesting. And that's uh, credit to the that's, general that's conference. Branding. Uh, that's the yeah. branding we have to, you yeah. know, because people have to know who we are and what are exactly we are doing. So it's, it's good to know that we have that being the someone, yeah. but also, you know, in our actions, we show, okay, this is what, this is what we're talking about. Absolutely. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's a powerful thing. All right. We are here at Kisumu Children Remanto, where the children are singing so passionately, praising God with all that they are. Today we are at uh, Juvenile, called the Kisumu Children's Remand Home. We are five churches represented here. We are here because uh, we want to share the love of Jesus with these children here. We want to minister to them through songs of worship. We are also going to preach to them. And through that preaching, we believe that we are going to spread the gospel, as we have been told in the scriptures, to go out there and spread the gospel. My main uh, duty here is to look into the daily welfare of the child. Make sure that once a child is brought in this institution, he's provided with all his basic needs. In our remandom, we have a slogan. We normally say that a child should not go home the way he came. But we're just here for get some counseling until we finish our case. And what I'm getting from here is that when I get out of here, I want to become a better person in the future, not the person whom I was before. This is such a wonderful day, adopting a child. Thank you so much. My name is Caroline Muche. I have been your reporter. Back to you, Diane. Wow. <laughs> okay, so here we're going to another, uh, another place in Nairobi. Yes, we're coming to Nairobi, and uh, we are going to actually see the Chief Justice mm. of the Republic of Kenya. Mm. His Excellency David Maraga, the mm. President of the Supreme Court of Kenya, who is an Adventist actually, okay. and a very huge supporter of the youth. Yeah. And so he's the one who's going to be uh, uh, coming shortly on our screen. He, he's going to be doing something. And, and that's, okay. that's what we're saying now, um, mm. the elders now getting involved, yes. the parents, because yeah. he's not, I doubt he came as the... <laughs> Chief Justice, yeah. I'm very sure he came as a parent and yeah. as a, as an elder. So it's it's good that uh, to have people yeah. to just get involved like that. Yeah. Yeah. Just so that I brag a little bit, I think <laughs> Kenya is one of the only countries, if not the only country in the world, that has a Chief Justice who is an Adventist. Oh no, 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 no! no. There's another place. It's, I, I just knew, saw I in the news sometime, but <laughs> there is. <laughs> Okay. I, yeah, there is uh, rather. <laughs> you can't find the if name. If I right? knew you were going to say this, I would Which have country? just made my... Banana Republic. <laughs> Which one? I know. No, but it's on the serious note. We appreciate the help mm. that the elders and the church that puts in, uh, you know, in this, in mm. this, and it's 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 good because yeah. now the young people don't 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 have an excuse. I'm alone. Yeah. Because yeah. Because there are people who are able to empower you, and you know. Mm -hmm. But I mean, even, even when it comes to um, when it comes to the whole part of uh, uh, just encouraging people, being able to influence Adventists within the church, to actually do more. Mm. I think having somebody of the caliber of a Chief Justice mm -hmm. getting involved to uh, such activities to this level is such a huge deal, even to the members themselves. It means a lot to them. So uh, I think having the Chief Justice actually at Kenyatta National Hospital donating blood will actually push more other Kenyans to actually make time to be there yes. uh, for that donation. Yeah. Yeah, you shouldn't be busy for helping someone. Mm -hmm. no, 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 no. And I mean, he has not shown that as a sign. I mean, even since his uh, appointment, mm -hmm. uh, he's actually been very involved with very the church, active, uh, yeah. uh, church activities. Yeah. And I guess it's our work. I mean, when people of that, you know, when Adventists are like a place of such, um, you know, responsibilities asked 
it's our response, responsibility also to actually pray for them. So we keep yes, them in prayer, but also just, uh, I think it's a commendable thing that yes, uh, yes, he's got in time yes. to be with us. In, in, yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. right now we will be viewing from Nairobi, the Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya, President of the Supreme Court, His Excellency David Kenani Maraga. I sometimes am amazed when I talk to doctors that we can donate blood, give blood to people who are not related to you at all. It, it, the, 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 the blood so uh, donation the, the, does not know color, it does not know tribe, it does not know race. Be mindful of, other, of others by coming to donate blood. Service to each of us is extremely important. As an elder, I sometimes go to hospitals to visit uh, patients. And, they, and you know, somebody who is in pain and they're sick, you go and spend some time with him. You cheer him up. Let's, let's, let's be mindful of our brothers and sisters. It is, you, it is me today you're visiting. Tomorrow, you'll be the one who will require to be visited. Fine, we, we, we will be celebrating on uh, this day because it's a special day which reminds us of, of this. But I want to appeal to all of us, all of us, not only the youths, even the adults, I want to appeal to Kenyans. Let us be uh, mindful of our uh, brothers and sisters and walk in. On a daily basis, walk in and donate blood so that the issue of uh, shortage of blood in the, in the, the blood banks is, is something of uh, the past. I sometimes am amazed when I talk to doctors. Amen. Brilliant. From, Thank uh, you very that. much. And uh, it's, it's, so, it's so nice for your, for your encouragement and your participation. And uh, we want to talk about, in, in a short time, one of the important things after GYD, what comes next? And it's a very important thing, Sylvie. Yep. Well, after GYD, we'll have a week of prayer where we are the youths, we'll, or we'll still get involved, you know, to continue and to take it on another step mm. to bring people to Christ, you know, to prepare people so that they can come accept Jesus Christ as their personal savior. So we'll not only end here while going to the community, giving stuff and all these other things, but also giving them more, more, should I say, spiritual. more spiritual, yes, more spiritual nourishment mm -hmm. and bringing them to Christ. And we're really praying hard that at the end of the week, we get people who are coming and giving their lives to Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah. And yeah. there's another very important part that comes after we prepare. The Sabbath, 23rd of March, is homecoming Sabbath. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. It's amazing how after today, the Global Youth Day, mm -hmm. tomorrow we begin, as Sylvie mm -hmm. saying, uh, the Youth Week of Prayer. Which, uh, which sort of uh, bonds us closer that, you know, faith without action is dead. So today is the action part, you know. So tomorrow we, continue, we, we, we have a week where the youth are involved, they are getting closer spiritually, rededicating their lives as the year continues to Christ. And even more importantly, at the end of the Sabbath, uh, on the 23rd, the last Sabbath of, uh, of the week, we get an opportunity to invite our friends, those who have not been coming to church, mm -hmm. uh, often mm. we invite them to come and rededicate their lives to christ and that's mm. why it's called the homecoming sabbath yes and after that and of course after that is we've had tmi in the past but now we're having actually uh, an element of the same that actually involves the youth more mm. so this doesn't end here we expect the youth to be involved more in this mm. maybe just not with the proper setup day as this has been but actually in our daily lives and i think this needs to really stick with us beyond just this day mm -hmm. as we go to work as you represent your company in different meetings, mm -hmm. how do you ensure that you actually represent God? So, yeah. yeah TYI. Yes. Mm -hmm. Total yes, yes. Involvement. Total yeah. Youth involvement. Yeah. I want to take some moment and go mm -hmm. to social media and Ooh. actually, you know, see what people have been doing. <laughs> so, I, I, I want to commend what we're saying about the uh, adopt. Um, 
a prisoner, <laughs> Shofa, has been doing this for a long, uh, some time. Uh -huh. So it's, it's been a ministry now. They go to the, they go to the prison mm -hmm. and pray with them and mm -hmm. preach them, share mm -hmm. what they have, because it's a group. A singing group so they sing so wow. it's it's good keep it up and we we'll continue to pray for you and i hope everyone will keep Shofa in their, mm. in, in their prayers thank you for the many hearts and there's a chef colon green highlands academy saying be the salmon in different oh. languages of kenya so honestly i'm not kenyan so i don't really <laughs> know what they have been saying but i know it's be the salmon so yeah. i'll keep on that one and um People from Tanzania, all Tanzania have been amazing sharing and the pathfinders and um, ambassadors. Mm -hmm. So also thank you for the hearts that you draw and thank you for the fun little kids who have been sharing those <laughs> ones from Northeast, uh, from Himo. That was really oh, wonderful. Far. Yeah, yeah Himo, you know, and you from really Uganda. <laughs> Yeah, wow. the hearts, and they're like the little girl. So if you continue to go to our uh, Ooh, our, our Facebook wow. or Twitter, you'll find us. So thank you oh, very much. The from USA River, that's Tanzania <laughs> still, very right? nice. Oh. So keep sharing, yeah. hashtag uh, uh, GYD19. GYD and thank you very much, Maxwell, other youth that got involved. We appreciate you, all of you. So always ask yourself, what is in your hand? It's your phone. So use it yeah. for the glory of God. Mm -hmm. And we appreciate everyone who has been involved. Thank you, all of you, for the great discussion. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the director for uh, East Central Africa Division, um, Magulilo Mwakalonge. That's an interesting <laughs> name. Eh? God bless you <laughs> and uh, Kwaheri. Well, you know one thing that uh, we, we <laughs> be, be, before we leave, we wanted to, to <laughs> no, we actually uh, remind yes. people <laughs> okay, okay, okay. that we have uh, tomorrow. Yeah. Let them not begin the week mm. without inviting a friend mm. to the week of prayer, That's which true. is very important. Mm -hmm. So. Isaac, yeah. you have a friend in mind? Of course. Invite? I have one, uh -huh. and uh, he'll be coming. Ah, he'll be coming. You already have one. I already you'll have be one. Praying yeah. for him. Absolutely. Ah, yeah. so yes. You have one in mind? Yes, I do. Uh -huh. And it's good that it's not only one, but let's get as many as we can. Awesome. All right, yes. then. Thank you. Dan, yes. you have one in mind? Well, I have many, and um, I'm, I'm actually mm. trying to do if we can also, also invite more on, uh, uh -huh. on our social media mm. as if we are there. Uh -huh. There's right. this total youth involvement, mm. there's this um, the week mm. of prayer, the whole. Yeah. If you're too busy, try also to use your, 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 you know, your phone right. and try to reach out. Uh -huh. Thank you. So, yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you very much okay. and God bless you. Mm. What, what do you guys say in your language? And, uh, do you know before... Uh, uh, remember yes. what you say in Swahili? You in say Swahili. Bye. Bye. Yeah. I want to see if you guys know Swahili. You say Jambo. No, <laughs> you say Kwaheri. <laughs> 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 Jambo is hello. You say au revoir. Au revoir. Uh, what? Mkama vire na mwe. Which language? Uh, that's Luganda. <laughs> that's Luganda. <laughs> yes. And then Kinyaranda we say Muraweho. And uh, yeah, it's, it's small. Uh, we, have to, we have taught the, our viewers uh, some language. So it's really good. Yeah, it I hope you, you get to visit us in the land of Thousand Hills and uh, in all those, those places. So God bless you. We really appreciate you, all of you. So bye. 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 bye.